Uh, Martin Creamer from Mining Weekly Online. So I'm still excited as you are about the South African technologies. I'd like some uh, more color on that, particularly an update. We continue to invest in the South African technology piece, which we, and uh, I in particular, feel very passionate about because that is the single key we have to improve productivity, which is the answer to a number of issues with the South African mining industry. And I visited the site uh, recently. And the good thing with regard to the drilling mechanism is it's not just pulling out the core. It's crushing the core and it comes out effectively like a paste which can be processed far easily. We've mined 18 holes. Um, the average grade in those holes is 90 grams a tonne, with one hole coming back at over 200 grams a tonne. The new machines which we are manufacturing are doing a very good job. What we have also managed to achieve is a backfill technology, which we was in trial stage. We now have a backfill trial plant installed underground in Tautona at the 96-97 level, which is actually making the backfill underground and putting it through the drill holes, as and when we remove uh, the, the, uh, the gold-bearing reef. But I think the key, the key things that we want to report on this quarter are, firstly, our new REMA, um, being able to do a single-pass hole, is helping us now consistently do a hole in 3.2 days. So just in the R&D phase, you know, we've managed to mine over 40 kilograms of gold. Is we want to, to really quadruple that number um, in 2014. Three adjacent holes have gone in, and they've actually worked exceptionally well. Now, what we are doing is commencing with our production sites in a couple of other mines now. We've already got one in Tautona. We are building another one, site two in Tautona as well. Kopenong would be up and running in August 2014. Great Naligua, hopefully in May 14 and Moab in July. So we're going to expand this into other areas. And as you know, the nature of the reef is different. Some of them are narrow. So the machines are being manufactured to drill even the narrow reef right now. That we've now put three holes, in fact it's now four holes, skin to skin with very little deviation. So the backfill is working properly. Our site construction at different mines is, is well underway, that we are constructing um, sites to go into production and those machines are being built as we speak is that you'll see our strategy of targeting firstly very high grade areas that we've had to walk away from in the past. Um, so we're putting two sites in those areas. Um, secondly, very, very narrow reefs. Um, the sea reef in particular, which over many years has not been able to be mined conventionally because we dilute that narrow reef so much and then we have a problem with the carbon, so we end up with the traditional South African mine core factor problem. So we'll be targeting the sea reef, um, and we should start production, I think it's Q3, um, at Great Naligwa there, which opens a whole new world um, on a marginal reef for us. And then the third piece is, is tackling some of the really challenging vertical reefs that we have at um, Moab Kutsong with this, this machinery. We want to get it to production capacity over the next three to five years to get 20% of our production from South Africa from this source.